Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about fractions. We have done a lot of calculations on fraction, but what is fraction exactly? What are fractions? So let's understand fractions with the help of a circle. Can you see a yellow circle? It's one whole circle. This is one circle. Now let us do one thing. Let us draw this circle and draw some lines inside the circle to divide the circle into four parts. So how many parts? Are there one, two, three, four? Now, after drawing the lines and dividing the circle into four parts, let's cut out one part from the circle. Now, how many parts are left? Two, three, and four. One has been taken out. Now, if I ask you what part of the circle has been taken out, so we write it as one over four. What is it? We write one at the top, four in the bottom and in between we give a symbol like this we draw a line this indicates divided by or we can say 1 by 4 1 over 4 or we can simply uh, in, uh, represent it as 1 out of 4 or what does this mean this one part is taken out of the four parts so if I ask you what fraction of the circle is taken out or cut out the fraction is 1 out of 4 that is 1 by 4. Now, what fraction of the circle is left in the figure? Well, how many parts are left? 1, 2, 3, the second part, the third part and the fourth part. So, this we will represent like this 3 by 4 or 3 out of 4, 3 over 4. Okay, because 3 parts are left and how many parts were there in total? 4. Let's understand it better again. So, how many parts are there in total in the circle? There are four parts. So, four we will be writing in the bottom. So, in the bottom we will be writing the total number or total parts. And this is called a denominator. Denominator. Whatever we write below in the fraction that is called denominator. Now, what we did? We had cut out one portion. So, what is the form of the fraction? We write it as 1 by 4. The top part 1 is known as the numerator. Numerator. What does the numerator indicate? The numerator indicates how many out of the total are used or how many out of the total is asked in the question. So, since I have asked you that how many parts I have taken out, so I write 1 in the numerator. What if I asked you how many are left? in the circle. So, 1, 2, 3. 3 parts are left. So, what will be my fraction? 3 over 4 as I told you in the previous page also. Okay. So, now let's understand it with one more example. Let's take a delicious pizza. To make it fraction, we have to cut out some slices of the pizza. So, let's do something. Let's take some slices of pizza. And then we are going to eat it. So, how many slices are there? This is one slice of pizza. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 slices in total makes one full pizza. So, how many total slices are there? 11. What should I write in the denominator? 11. Okay. Now, I told we are going to eat it. So... Let us just eat some of the pizzas, slices. One slice, two slice, three slice. I have eaten three slices. So, how many slices have I eaten? What fraction have I eaten of the pizza? I have eaten 3 over 11. The total number was 11. I have eaten 3. So, I write it 3 by 11. Can you tell me what fraction is left? So, 11 minus 3, the number of slices that are left is 8. So, what fraction will it be? 8 over 11. The total number was 11 and how many parts are left? 8. So, we can write it in this form 8 over 11. Okay, now let's come to a table. There is a table made up of several boxes. Can you tell me how many boxes are there? Should we count it? Without counting it, we can do another thing. We can just 
count the number of rows and the number of columns how many vertical columns are there four how many rows are there one two three four five so please do not count the number of boxes one by one so how many boxes are there to in total in the table it's five rows multiplied by four columns that is 20 so without counting we can see there are 20 boxes let's check it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so let's not count like this let's just multiply and see how many boxes are there so we got 20 boxes now what to do what is the total number of boxes what will be in the denominator we will have 20 in the denominator now let's do something let's shade brown some of the boxes how many boxes have i shaded brown can you tell me there are two columns and three rows so six boxes have been shaded brown can you tell me what fraction of the table is shaded brown okay before telling that we know there are six boxes shaded so how many boxes are shaded six six we will put on the top that is the numerator now tell me what fraction of the box a table is shaded it will be six over 20 because 20 was the total number six has been shaded brown so what fraction is shaded brown six over 20 well can you tell me what fraction of the table is unshaded not brown okay Please do it yourself, try yourself and if you can do it, write in the comment section. See you in the next video. Goodbye.